Well, it's me again, and we're looking at some more crap on a sofa. I mean, maybe it's not crap, maybe it's okay. It's a brake disc. What the hell could go wrong with that, you probably wonder. It's red. It's a floating rotor. What more could one ask for? It's made by a snail. See, there's a picture of a snail. Um, and the A is red for some reason. And it's got all this sort of... Yeah, the A is very, very stands out on the logo. Anyway, so they're red, they're anodized, they're disc brakes. And they look pretty trick, I have to say. Um, can't really see anything obvious wrong with them. Yeah, for looking at them or anything like that. I have tried these on another bike or other mum's boyfriend has. He has upgraded bikes since, but um, there wasn't a problem with them. They work perfectly well. His were blue. These are red, as you can clearly see. And yeah, they worked fairly well. Although there is a few things to notice. These are no hope um, rotors that's for sure and they're not the same price i don't really remember what the price of these was i think snail stuff's gone up quite a lot since then um these basically were a present and they've been left somewhere and they've just my parents just uncovered them and anyway now i've got them so yeah they look pretty cool on paul's bike and i wanted to set for a project so you know i have them now i no longer have the project that they were going to go on but i can put them on something else maybe the regley or something like that as i still have that thing long story but i still have it um so yeah, what kind of quality issues do we notice that are a little bit annoying maybe to some? Well, you can see here each individual piece is laser cut. Um, and when you laser cut something, you have to start somewhere. The start is called leading. And as you can see, the leadings have been left on there. They've not like filed them off or anything. So there's this little teeny tiny sharp edge if you look at it very closely. But apart from that, there's not really any real complaints. There's no... Uh, buckling or wobbling or squealing or anything like that caused by these on the other bike that we tried them on so yeah these are 180 i can't remember what the rear what was the other one 7075 aluminium by the way for anyone interested t6 heat treatment unless you get it stupidly hot then you might reheat treat it to something else but if you do that what disc brakes you've got on there at least your worries it's quite difficult to do on camera There, there we go. I didn't cheat with that one. These are 180mm size. Um, yeah, I'll probably put them on some sort of, uh, maybe an e-bike, maybe the Ragley. I think I'll put them on the Ragley, actually. And uh, yeah, they can go with the red brake calipers, which are pretty cool. There, you see that lead in on all of the little, uh, every single little shape. I mean, it's all quite, it's quite nice that they've actually done it in the same place. Like, they've nested it to a degree and started it all from the same place. So that's kind of cool. Um... Like it could be over here, it could be over there. Oh, there is a little mark on that one right there. Oh, and there as well. Okay, maybe I wasn't... It looks almost like the leading was there on that one, but no, it wasn't. It is there. But yeah, pretty cool. I think they were like £12 or something. I can't remember. Honestly, they're not as good as hopes, but, you know, they're quite nice regardless. Anyway, that concludes this video. The snail disc brakes i haven't had looked at the crank set yet i might look at that it's about 100 quid i think for the crank set so it's quite expensive but it does look quite premium that includes that's uh, that concludes this video see you later like and subscribe for more